Achtung or good evening, Internet vinyl community. What do you think? My speakers are ready. I'm pretty happy about them. I mean, they're not perfect uh, in terms of the woodworking. There are a few flaws here and there, but compared to what they looked before, I'm, I'm pretty happy with them. And uh, the most important thing, sound-wise, they are, to me, insanely good in this room, insanely good. So, uh, yeah, I'm done with them and I'm happy. And um, now up to the next uh, renovation, I have so many things to do, so many uh, amps and turntables and whatsoever, which is in need of some maintenance repair whatsoever. I should stop honestly with this stuff, but yeah, you know how it is. Um, besides from my new speakers, of course, I, I, I bought a couple of new records, which I want to show to you. Um, first up, You know I'm a sucker for, for some good um, soundtracks and this is from Das Boot uh, by Klaus Dollinger. So the soundtrack is by Klaus Dollinger. Um, don't know if this was an international thing. So it was um, big in Germany and it has a, it was, uh, the cast was with uh, Grönemeyer, uh, Jürgen Prochno, um, yeah, absolute uh, brilliant movie, uh, if you ask me. Um, and I, I always liked the soundtrack, and now I pulled the trigger and, and, and bought it. So, if you know it, might be interesting. If you don't know it, yeah, maybe listen to it on, on Spotify or whatsoever to get an idea about what I'm talking. Uh, next up, again. Soundtrack, United States versus Billy Holiday with Andra Dai, 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 how is it pronounced? Did I already show that? I'm not sure. However, um, Andra Dai is, is sound-wise the reincarnation of, of Billy Holiday. I did not see the movie, honestly, but I was listening to some... Um, songs from the soundtrack and I was immediately hooked and therefore bought it. Excellent, um, excellent soundtrack. Yeah, next is, um, do you see it? Without Claire, Paolo Conte, Life at Venaria Reale. It's on clear vinyl, a double LP. I mean, um, Paolo Conte is special. He has this special deep voice sounding like 10 bottles of whiskey and um, the Italian language is, is, is a beautiful language. Unfortunately, I do not understand um, anything. Maybe a couple of words, but, but not much. But I, I really love what he's doing. This is... Um, yeah, to me, it's some kind between chanson, jazz, and I absolutely dig the voice of this man. And I I wish I was there when when he played there. Um, beautiful. Really like it. Next up. Um, Danzig Metal 666 Satan's Child. Ooh. Um, I mean, I, I wish Danzig would make a reissue of Danzig 1, 2, 3, and 4. To me, those are the main important Danzig uh, records. And I unfortunately only have the first one on, on vinyl as an original. And 2 to 4 are hard to get in Europe more or less impossible so you have to go via Discogs and price wise they are insane so I I would absolutely love to have them but I guess I have to wait for a reissue because as an original for me 
out of reach. However, this one was... I think this is quite hated from the from the fans um, and also from the critics. I think it's not that bad. Um, somehow the transition to his industrial stuff um, still a little bit rocky. So between rock and industrial, um, not his best work, but still I an enjoyable listen. And uh, I was curious about the vinyl because it was, of course, a red, marble, bloody. And do you see that? It's red. I would have imagined, imagined a little bit more bloody look to it, but however. Um, still okay. Last one and still unopened. The new from Jack White, Entering Heaven Alive. Really curious. Um, yeah, uh, Jack White for quite for the longest time was out of my focus, and then with the last one I bought, I also bought his first ones now, and then his. I really dig what he's doing. I mean, it's a it's a brilliant mind and thinking about what he's doing there in his own studio, playing so many instruments by himself. And it's so, uh, it's never boring. And so many um, facets to it. It's really, really dig that. Yeah, that's it in terms of, of, of records. Um, what else I want to tell you? Yeah, my disaster with an uh, interview with Robert. Uh, maybe, maybe I will add now some uh just some small snippets that you see that i really did that unfortunately you're only hearing my voice so i will cut it somehow but the good news is we we will make a second round and this will happen um august 20th if i am august 20th if i remember right uh 7 p.m my time 10 a.m robert's time and this time we will make it the other way around. So he will do an interview with me. So curious what this, this will be. However, guys, girls, take care. See you next time. Bye. Robert, nice to talk to you. Um, completely new thing for me. But you, you said in one of your last videos, you already did a, did a video. Right? So this live stream thing with someone else. Well, let me start with my real first question. So in my impression, I mean, I'm following you pretty much since my beginning in, in this whole vinyl community stuff. And it seems you have some kind of a love-hate relationship to the vinyl community, if I might say that. Um, I remember a couple of weeks or months ago you were posting a video and asking yourself why you still should make videos. So obviously you found an answer because you're still around. So, so what keeps you going? I wanted to ask you what's your take on audio files in, in general and uh, just wanted to add what I just did, my personal impression. To me, it's quite often that there's a lot of rich people buying everything expensive, uh, not to say overpriced, then do a review or just to show up and, and, and going through the audiophile bullshit checklist uh, this ways mastered by from the original tape, soundstage is whatever, dynamics are so cool and this clarity and you name it. I mean, what you hear again and again and again. Um, this is my impression, and of course I'm interested what is your impression in this audio file thing. And then, after that additional question, talking about the audio file issue, the MoFi scandal. Uh, you just made a video about it, um, asking the question, is it the time to sell maybe some items? Um, so what do you think about the whole topic, the, the audio files and then the MoFi scandal?